Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see how we can use File Connect to integrate Salesforce and Google Drive and how we can see files from Google Drive into the Salesforce. So this is my Salesforce org. First step is to uh, enable Files Connect. I will go on Files Connect. Right now I see File Connects, I have already enabled it. Uh, in file sharing option so first we have to enable this second in file sharing option there are two options we have either we can say that Google Drive documents would be visible in Salesforce only by reference and it would not be physically inside Salesforce or we can say copy in case of copy uh, Google Drive uh, folders would be copied into the Salesforce as well Google Drive files would be copied into the Salesforce as well one of the advantage of the copy is you will get your own sharing model in Salesforce if the file gets synced uh, and if we keep reference then in that case which file would be visible to which user should be governed by next system which is in our case is a Google Drive. Now there is our solution as well which we will, will talk uh, later in this demo. So that's the first step. Uh, I am not going to make any changes because I already have enabled this next step is to create a permission set and so basically what I have done is I have already created a permission set name as a file connect permission and what you have to do is search for file connect so basically there are two options files connect cloud and files connect on premises file connects on premises is useful in a scenario uh, for an example if SharePoint uh, is hosted uh, on your premises and you want to access SharePoint file into Salesforce in our case it's a Salesforce connect cloud so what I have done is I have enabled this setting now you have to assign this permission set to everybody who wants to uh, access a file from Google Drive to the Salesforce if I see manage assignment uh, I have almost given everybody in my org an access to Google Drive which is a file connect. So once permission set is assigned, once we assign that which user can access the file connect, next step would be to create one app in a Google console. So this is the URL for Google console you can see. I already have a one credential in my Google console. I will create another and I will say I have to create OAuth client ID because we are going to use OAuth and we are going to say web application and I can say Salesforce my org name is Jitendra21 so that I can differentiate it we have to give the origins and we have to give the authorized redirect URI we would come back here and we can give it again here so for the time being let's create it so this is a client auth client uh, ID and the secret that's fine I will come back again and we will use this next step is go back to the Salesforce and create an auth provider so I will go on setup I will go on auth provider I already have one auth provider for Google Drive let me delete this and let me create a new auth provider for the sake of this demo so uh, let me see so provider type as we can see there are multiple provider types I will select Google and I will say Google Drive because we want to connect to the Google Drive now it is asking for consumer key and the consumer secret we have just created a connected app in Google console so I will go back here in credential I will copy client ID and I will copy client secret don't worry I'm going to delete this app after the demo so no one be able to misuse my credentials here and once this is done so we have to provide authorized endpoint URL token endpoint URL so uh, these information you can find in Google help and training now I already have the authorized endpoint I will enter authorized endpoint as this saying access type is offline approval prompt is force and when authorized endpoint is given we have to give the token endpoint so token endpoint would be this one so if you see the few values are pre-populated <coughs> we are not going to do anything here uh, so there is a default scope here we have to give the scope 
and the default scope again this is written in Salesforce documentation I am saying default scope is going to be open ID email profile and drive as a def uh, default stop uh, default scope sorry let's save this so just to recap uh, file connect uh, is a technology or the I will say functionality by Salesforce where we can access document right inside Salesforce from our external document management uh, right now uh, the document management which is supported by file connects are Google Drive OneDrive from Microsoft box business SharePoint cloud and SharePoint on-premises so we have just created an auth provider now the interesting thing about the file connect is as the name suggests file connect uses Salesforce connect under the hood so if you have worked on the Salesforce connect uh, next process would be very easy for you all we have to do is define the external data source so I will before before going that let's see so these are all the URLs and one important URL is callback URL so we have to copy this callback URL and we will paste it here and then we have to whitelist our domain name which in my case is this one jitendra 21 is the name of my org so I am whitelisting this I will also whitelist my lightning force domain just in safer side if Salesforce is using this so what this setting really means is Google will allow access to the Google Drive API only if it is originated from jitendra 21 and uh, either my.salesforce.com or lightning.force.com so let's save it so our settings in Google Drive is almost done we have created our auth provider let's create external data source now from this point onwards uh, all the settings are just like Salesforce Connect so under the hood we are using a Salesforce Connect here I will create a new external data source and give me one minute I will say so in the external data source we have options as I have mentioned previously box Google Drive Microsoft SharePoint online OneDrive for business is supported and the interesting is quip is also supported so that's good I will select Google Drive here and I will say external data source as Google Drive and then I will say so there are two type of identity either per user and the named principal right now I am using a named pr principal but let's say if you are using a per user so basically what you would have to do is <coughs> every user need to provide their username and password for any external data source so basically what we do is every user have to go to their settings right here and in setting we see authentication setting for external system so every user would need to create a new right now I don't have a permission because I have not provided a permission set for myself so system administrator would need to provide the permission set and then every user can authenticate themselves for the external data source so that's about named uh, per user let's go by the name principal we have already created authentication provider I will go back and I will select my authentication provider which is Google Drive scope we have already provided previously uh, but I will provide it again just on safer side then it is saying that once the uh, once I click on save Google will ask me to so Salesforce will basically ask me to authenticate myself against Google let's save it so here I have all my Salesforce account I am saying let's authenticate myself using this account it is saying that Salesforce app is not verified that's fine I will say still trust go here it is asking me for the permission just like OAuth flows we have in Salesforce as well this OAuth flow is from Google click on allow so it seems everything is good <coughs> what we will do is we will click on validate and sync it, it should show sales uh, Google Drive options here I will say sync so basically now what it is doing is it is syncing this object which is an external object uh, Google Drive 
I just need to see one more on auth provider what we have here is I need to see suffix okay, perfect so we are all good here let's create a tab for external data source so which we have external object basically so I will create a new tab and I will say that external object is item Google Drive which is an external object or you can say the virtual object for Salesforce and let's see this icon and what I will do is I will give permission to everybody who have an access to external object I will say include tab uh, let's not include tab and just save it so let's see if that works so what what I will do is I will search for Google I see items Google Drive I click here and let's click on all now basically it is using Salesforce Connect under the hood it is connecting to the Google Drive it will get all the documents from Google Drive back to the Salesforce as I have selected give me show me all the items from Google Drive so of course it is taking some time meanwhile let me go on setup again and let me check something so here as we can see these are all the records I have so let's say if I click on the one of the file so this file says who is the author what is the comment content length if I click here it will ask me for download if this is a folder it will say it's folder or not so basically all these metadata information or all these files information is coming from Google Drive itself so that's all we just integrated Salesforce with Google Drive using Google Drive as a document management without writing a single line of code using Salesforce Connect so as we can see Salesforce is leveraging Salesforce Connect under the hood in many many places we can use Salesforce to Salesforce connection using Salesforce Connect we can integrate Salesforce with external system again using Salesforce Connect which is OData protocol and in this case we are able to integrate Salesforce with document management again using Salesforce Connect without writing a single line of code I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. Please subscribe to my channel and your feedbacks and comments are all welcome.